All right, guys and gals, this is Sweet Project Cars back here with trick and cheap ways to do things. This is what we're going to be repairing today. As you can see, that's fraying that's uh, going on right here. We're going to share with you how to fix that. Otherwise, if you want it perfect, you're going to have to buy a new top. We're going to make it look so you don't doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, and it'll last and not wear out anymore. The uh, two items we're going to need is you need to buy some of this uh, Rhino glue. It is an amazing product and you'll need a pick. Can't have enough of these picks. All right, here we go. So the fraying that we're going to fix is this right here, as I said, and I'm gonna share with you how to do that. First, you open up your Rhino glue. All right, and you wanna fix this as soon as possible due to the fact that it'll get worse on you if you don't. So up underneath here, um, there's strands that run this way and you don't want those coming loose. We have a little bit on the other side doing that. So let's get started. What we do first off is we wanna put a little bit of the glue in this area right here and you have plenty of time to do it. The Rhino glue is it doesn't set up like crazy glue and it's way stronger. We're going to put a little bit on the pick. All we do is we put a little bit on the strands here to get those to not come loose on us and stop the fraying. Now what we're going to do, we've got a little bit on those strands right there. We're going to take the bottle and just put a little bit right along that edge. And the black part you see here, you want to get a little bit of that on there because that's important that the top bonds to it. All right, and we take our pick and we just work that in there. Make sure we get it up in there good. Maybe we want a little more on that one edge. The pick works good because you can really zero in on an area like this right here. Now, all we're going to do is peel this down and around and hold it there. I'm going to do the ends. Peel this down and around. And you just hold it. If you have problems with your gloves sticking to it, you can use a piece of wax paper between your gloves and the uh, area you're gluing. It's already starting to, and once you get this, it will not come loose again, okay? And then you can get some tan cloth dye at any store, and you can get and match this up. This dries pretty clear, and it should come right back to that color there. If not, you can re-dye it if you're that picky. But in this situation, we're trying to keep the customer from having to buy a new top. They don't have that kind of money. All right, guys, we're back. You can see that it's come in pretty good here and it's all tight, dried up. That is a million times better than it was. There you go, folks. That's all you gotta do. It's that simple. And once this dries, it will come in really, really close to this color. Make sure you subscribe for trick ways to do things.